What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the color grade slash color correction like Haley Stainfield's music video called Let Me Go. It is right here. The link will be down in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch it before watching the tutorial. And a subscriber wanted me to show you guys how to do the kind of color grading or color correction of this music video and apply it to short films, vlogs, whatever you're going to be using this in your project. So this is a really cool, you know, a cool look if you if you want to, you know, call it that. It's a really cool look that you guys can apply. And this really reminds me of that 70s kind of look, especially in TV and movies. It really looks like that and that vintage summer look. And I can totally see why a lot of people would want to use this in their vlogs or music videos or short films, whatever it is. So let me go and show you guys what it is. I'm not going to play the music because of the copyright. This is right here, the effect that she wants me to do. And it's really, really cool. It's very easy to do in Final Cut Pro 10. We have the grain with the hairs kind of coming in and out. I'm not talking about the girls here. I'm talking about the little like hairs that come out through the video. If you've ever seen really old stock video or old film, that's what it used to look like. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in today's tutorial. All right, guys. So this is the video that I used from Kelsey Simone's vlog. Her channel will be down in the description as well, so be sure to subscribe to her. So if I go ahead and push play, this is what I uh, used. Now, it's not going to look exactly the same, and there's a reason for that. Uh, the reason is because there's no sun, and this is using indoor light. So indoor light and sunlight will look completely different. So just keep that in mind. But I just wanted to show you guys what it'll look like if you were to do it in indoors. So let me go and show you guys how to do this. It's really, really easy. It's not that hard. So I'm going to delete all of this. So this is the original video that I used. So this is the original video that uh, was from the vlog, of course. We got some, we got a lot of whites, a lot of highlights. It's very contrasty with the blacks and the shades and her like clothes and stuff like that. The walls. And sometimes it gets dark, sometimes it gets, you know, really bright in some areas. You want to be careful with that if you're going to be color grading or color correcting your video or film, whatever it is. But I'll show you guys how to uh, achieve that effect. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is add the color correction or color grade, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people have different, you know, meanings for different stuff. So... Select your video, press Command 6 to quickly open the color board. And in here, we're going to change the shadows, midtones, and highlights. The highlights are what will actually achieve that pinkish uh, look to the video, kind of that 70s vintage look. So the shadows are pretty much, you know, the blacks, the deep shadows in the, in the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't normally, whoops, I don't normally change the global. Make sure you change this one. And this is of course adjusting the darks so what i like to do because the darks are a little bit blue in the music video i'm going to drag this up a little bit and then a little bit kind of to the right because it's a little bit like in the turquoise area right here but not too much where it's like completely like all, all the way over here right that's going to add a different look to your video so we're just going to go around here something like that and then the midtones which are pretty much it, in between the blacks and the highlights, um, which will affect normally the walls right here. Uh, this is kind of also, I don't want it completely white when I'm adding the highlights because then it will be too bright. So we want to kind of tone that down a little bit. So with the midtones, we're going to drag this down to an offset kind of cream white like color. So we kind of want something like this to, to kind of add that vintage look to make it look more realistic okay so then we have the highlights the highlights are of course the brightest areas in your video so we're going to go ahead and change the highlights so we're going to add this and just drag it up a little bit till you kind of get into the pink area now you don't want to go too much where it's like this and it looks completely horrible but you want it just enough that you can tell it's there right so we want the pink to be around here now keep in mind this is indoors indoor lighting is completely different from outside right so you get direct sunlight and it's a little bit different so you don't want to completely go all the way overboard because that wouldn't make sense because there isn't that much light in indoors right so we want to have this very subtle so we're going to have this around like i said you can adjust these values according to your video not every video is going to look the same and not all of you guys are going to have the same 
properties that I'm using in this tutorial, but it should be similar, but not completely over the top. So once we're done with the color, we're gonna go to the saturation. The saturation I don't normally change just because I don't want it to be too overly dramatic. So I don't even touch the saturation. I go to the exposure and to get that 70s look, you want to make it washed out because a lot of the, you know, 70s TV shows and film were, you know, relatively faded out. So we're going to increase the shadows up a little bit, but not too much. We don't want it completely washed out and we we don't want it too dark cuz that will look just bad. So we're going to drag this up a little bit but not too much. I would say no more than five. So now if I go ahead and just go through the video, you can see how it's adjusting or how it's affecting the video. So now once we're done with that, we can see the before and the after. Completely different look. It looks really nice though. And if you wanted to add this to your vlogs, it can really spice up the content there. Now we're also gonna add a aged film in the stylized effects. So drag that onto your video. Make sure the aged film is on top of the color correction. And then after that, we're gonna decrease the uh, color adjustment here because if you don't adjust that, it's gonna look completely orange or you know yellow. And if you go all the way back, it's gonna make it black and white. So we're gonna do nice medium zero so it doesn't adjust it at all. So once we're done with that, we're gonna change the grain. We don't really want that much grain and you can see the grain right here. That won't look good, especially in the blacks or in the shadows. So we're gonna take that almost completely off. Um, you can add a little bit, but not too much. I'm not a big fan of it. The dust though, we do wanna add a little bit, but not too much. I say around 40. Uh, the scratches I'm gonna take off, they're just these lines right here that you can see. And if I push play, you will see that it's these kind of parallel black lines. I don't like that in this video. If it was something more retro, then you can do that. The hairs though, we want to increase that quite a bit. Now the hairs are what gives it that really nice, you know, vintage feel, that 70s look. And you can see that there's dots here and there coming throughout the video. And those are called hairs, um, not the girl's hair of course, but hairs throughout the video. And that looks really, really nice. It looks more authentic. So keep the style on realistic grain. I'm not sure what iMovie grain is, but it just doesn't look as good. You can do a jitter amount, but that will make it so it's blurry it will just have the video be more, like if it was more handheld. I don't like that. I keep everything off and just have it how it is. So that's pretty much it for this video. As you know, like I said, it's not that hard to do. Some people might over, uh, over complicate things and when you really shouldn't. So this is the after, uh, once we've applied everything here, you can see the little dusts, the hairs and the color correction or color grade. Now, if I take these off, this is what was before and this is with the color correction, and then this is with the aged film. So, uh, if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, and if you guys want me to do something similar to this, where you guys you know, tell me what kind of effect you guys want me to do from a certain YouTuber, please let me know, that'd be awesome, or just leave a like, that's awesome too. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.